and welcome to Go Grammar Go, the game show specially brought to you by TV Pendidikan. As usual, Go Grammar Go will see two teams competing for the highest points in four grammar games. So let's give a warm welcome to the two competing teams. From Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Taman Bukit Maluri, Kuala Lumpur, we have the blue team. And the team that is going to try and beat them is the red team from Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Bukit Sentosa, Rawang. Okay, um, SMK Taman Bukit Maluri is represented by Ho Ching Yi. Gurubrin Palani and Natasha Adam Wembeck. Welcome. And the members of the red team from SMK Bukit Sentosa are Rashini Chandran, Lee Joshua, and Awad Ashraf. Hello. And to all our viewers, welcome to. So teams, are you ready? Yes. yes. Very okay. good. The first game on Go Grammar Go today is called Words in Action. We are talking about action words. We also call them verbs. Verbs tell us what people, animal or things do. Uh, verbs can show actions in the past, present or future. So uh, the blue team will go first and Ching Yi, you're the first player. When you hear the buzzer, you'll have 60 seconds to read, decide on the best answer for each sentence and drag all uh, five answers from the box to complete the sentences. So each correct answer earns you five points. Any wrong answer or unfilled blanks get, get you no points, okay? So are you ready? Yes. Okay, come on over here. Okay. We will start at the sound of the buzzer. And 60 seconds. From now. Question. Correct. The blue team is 25 points. Okay, it's time now for the red team to try and outdo the blue team. And for that, we have Rashini. Right, okay. Come on. Okay, 60 seconds from now. Okay, the first question. Second one. Third one is correct. The fourth one. Correct. And the last one. Very good. 
So you get five correct answers, and your total point now is 25 points. Well done. Well, that was the end of round one, and the score at this moment is 25 points for the blue team. So contestants, are you all ready for the next game? Yes. yes. Very good. All right, for the next game, get ready contestant number two from the red team. Hi, Joshua. Okay, our next game is called Names, Names, Names. We're talking about nouns. Nouns are the names of people, animals, things or places. Okay, uh, Herman will read you a list of 10 questions and in 60 seconds you have to try and answer all of them. If you don't know the answer, you say next and he'll go on to the next question. The faster you answer each one of them, the more chances you have of answering all 10. Uh, each correct, correct answer gets you 5 points. The questions will not be repeated. Okay, now the buzzer will mark the start and the end of your quest. Do you understand? I'll start at the sound of the buzzer. 60 seconds from now. What do you call all the people working on a ship? Sailors. A male cat is called a tomcat. What do you call a female cat? Tabby cat. Birds have feathers. What do fish have? Fins. What do we call a person who rides a horse in a race? Jockey. In which country would you find the Statue of Liberty? America. Your brother's wife's son is your? Nephew. The holy book of Christians is called the Bible. What do we call the holy book of Muslims? Quran. A male elephant is called a bull. What do we call a female elephant? Cow. Complete this saying. Actions speak louder than? Words. The penny black is a? Oh, that was your last question, Joshua, and let's look at your answers. Question number one, the answer should have been crew. Question number two, correct, tabby cat. Number three, fish have scales. Question number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, and number nine. You got it correct. Question number ten, the penny black is a stem. Okay, you have got seven correct answers, and your point now is 35 points. And the total score for the red team is 60 points. Congratulations. It's back to the blue team and it's Guru Brun's turn to try and outdo Joshua. Okay, do you understand the rules, Guru Brun? Yes. You're ready? Okay, I know we'll read the questions as soon as we hear the sound of the buzzer. We'll start 60 seconds from now. We call a group of soldiers an army. What do we call a group of thieves? A, a, ba a bandit. A gang of thieves. You live in a house. Where does an Eskimo live? Igloo. We call a parrot a bird. What do we call a snake? A reptile. What do we call a person who takes x-rays? A uh, pass. A man breathes, breathes through his nose and a fish breathes, breathes through its fins. Which state in Malaysia is known as the Pearl of the Orient? Pass. A small spoon is called a teaspoon. What do we call a small plate? A uh, table plate. <laughs> in which country would you find the Taj Mahal? India. The curing tree gives us raisin. What does the rubber tree gives, uh, give us? Rubber. A zebra has stripes. What does a leopard have? Spots. Okay, now let's see. The first question, you got it correct. The second one, also correct. The third is, was also correct. The fourth one, a person who takes x-ray, is a radiographer. The fifth one, fish breathes through its gills. A pearl of the Orient, Penang. A small plate, saucer. And the eighth one, correct, India. Nine. Rubber give us latex. The last one correct. So you got five correct. 25 points for you. The total score for the blue team is 50 points. <laughs> 
before we go on to the third game, let's look at the prizes for the winner and the runner-up. The prizes for this program are a dictionary, reference books and readers sponsored by Pearson Education, Longman Malaysia Sundran Burhat, your partner in education and a hamper to brighten up your day sponsored by Smarties. Catering for this program is sponsored by Ava Nation Sundran Burhat Kuala Lumpur. The runner-up will also receive books from Pearson Education, Longman Malaysia, Sundram Berhad and a hamper from Smarties. Two games down and two more to go and it's all on... Okay, uh, Awad and Natasha, it's your turn and this is what Game 3 is all about. Each of you will have to look at each of the four visuals on the screen behind me and unscramble the given letters to form an adjective or adverb to describe the given picture. You have to spell out the word correctly and say it clearly. You're given fif only 15 seconds to solve each word. Now remember, the words given to you are either adjectives or adverbs. Now five points will be given to you for each correct answer. Okay, are you ready? Okay. okay, we'll start with Awad Ashraf from the red team. Okay, Awad, take your position. We will start at the sound of the buzzer. Okay? 60 seconds from now. Destructive. D E S T R U C T I V. Okay, the second one. Royal. R O Y A L. Okay, we'll wait for the third one. Soundly, S O U N D L Y. Very good. Come on. Filthy, F I L T H Y. Okay, let's check your answer. Uh, what? You got number one correct, number two correct, number three correct. And the last one, also correct. Well done. Okay, Awad, you have got four correct answers. And that means you have 20 points, which brings your total score now to 80 points. Congratulations. Now it's the blue team's turn to try and outdo the red team. Uh, Natasha, you can take your position now. Okay, we'll start the sound of the buzzer. <coughs> 60 seconds from now. Symbolic SYM symbol. Calmly, C A L M L Y. Uh, informative, I M. F O R M A T I V E. E N G L I S H. Okay, now let's check. The first one was symbolic, <laughs> correct, but I didn't get to spell it. The second one, correct, calmly. The third one, also correct, informative. And the last one was also correct, English. So you got three correct. So you have 15 points for the blue team. So the total score now is 65 points. Well done. Okay, as you already know, there are some fantastic prizes to be won and so far the red team is in the lead Oof. with 80 points. Congratulations. Okay everyone, this is going to be teamwork to solve a crossword puzzle. Okay, this is how it is played. Each team will draw a numbered ball from this bowl. The number will correspond to a number in the crossword on the screen behind me. So when the number is clicked on the puzzle, it will reveal the clue for that question. 
Okay, you then discuss it with your team members, decide on the answer and drag the letters from the box on the left of the puzzle to fill in the gaps. Uh, every correct answer keyed in earns you 5 points. If your answer is wrong, your opponents get 20 seconds to complete it and steal your 5 points away, okay? So are you, are you clear on the rules? Mm -hmm. Alright, the red team won the draw before the show, so they will go first. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Okay, stir, and pick one. Okay. Number six. Okay. Okay. Clue for number six. 60 seconds from now. Opposite of there. Got ball number three. Number three, sixty seconds from now. I was not able to sing. Dash, I had the flu. Look at the clue. 60 Six seconds se from now. Samad is sitting, dash, Ramli and Chong Bang. Team. Whose turn is it now? Okay, Guru Brand, stir it. Okay. Ball number seven. Number seven, 60 seconds from now. A word used to join two sentences with different views. Number five. Number five. Sixty seconds from now. To be in front of others. Okay, we'll blue, blue team? open 20 seconds now. from now to the blue team. Okay. 
Let's Lee. check. Let's check the answer, Chingy. It is correct. correct. Very good. Okay, let's continue with the blue team now. It's Natasha Stern, maybe? Stern? Okay. It's ball number eight. Number eight. 60 seconds from now. There is a salesman dash the door. It is correct. Very good. Okay, I know. Okay, the red team. Good. Okay, nine down. Nine down. Sixty seconds from now. He was last seen fishing dash the river. Okay. 20 seconds for the blue team. Now. Okay, sure? Sure. okay let's now let's check. check. It is correct. Right. Well done. Okay, blue team. Okay, it's blue team now. Okay, it's ball number two. Number two, 60 seconds from now. The principal's office is over. Dash. One down. 60 seconds from now. Very early in the morning. Okay, ball number one. Okay, number one, 60 seconds from now. What is your dash of birth? Are you sure? Hmm. Okay, let's check now. It is correct. correct. Well done. Okay, I know. Second, last. Okay. <laughs> Number nine. Number nine. Sixty seconds from now. Something that is unpleasant. Team's answer? Yes. Okay, okay let's, let's check. check. Right. The last ball. 
Well, the blue team, since you have the last ball here, it is ball number 10. Number 10. 60 seconds from now. Okay. Worn around the waist. Belt. That's your answer? Yes. Okay, okay let's check. check. That is correct. Well Very done. good. Okay, well, that's the puzzle completed. Now let's check the score. So, the blue team has six correct plus two that you stole from the red team. Mm -hmm. So, you have 40 points. Well done. Well done. So, the total the blue team is 105. Wow. Congratulations. The red team has four correct. So you have 20 points. Mm -hmm. That brings your total score to 100 points. <laughs> well done. Well done. Also. Okay, I know. And from the final tally, we have a winner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Congratulations to blue the blue team. team. And to the runner up, the red team. Congratulations to you two. That brings us to the end of another series of Go Grammar Go. We would like to thank our sponsors, Pearson Education, Longman Malaysia, Sandrine Berhad and Smarties. So bye-bye for now. Brush up your, on your grammar and don't forget to tune in to Go, Go Grammar, Grammar Go! Go.